Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday. It's starting to get a little frozen around here, y'all. It's cold outside. It was like 70 on Friday and now it's in the like 20s high of 40. Well, that's okay because that just means we're getting closer to Thanksgiving this week and Christmas and then New Year's and headed to Disney World in January. <gasps> Hooray! So exciting, so exciting. So this is Thanksgiving week and I'm thankful for all of you. And don't forget, if you haven't already checked it out, I have my giveaway from last week's episode. I want to thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel and watching these videos and keeping track along with me as I make my way through the year saving my money for Disney World and Disneyland and Disney World again. And I don't say that to brag, I just, I'm blown away by the amount of money I was able to save. I had a goal to save for the one trip and was very thankful that I was able to do the others. So thank you guys for tracking along. And I know that many of you find these videos to be inspiring and are helping you on your own journeys to saving money for Disney and other things. And I'm just so glad for that. So glad. So this week there's Black Friday. And normally I so totally love that, but this year I bought a lot of my gifts a long time ago. I try to buy gifts throughout the year, and I'm sure there's something that I will find in an ad that I just have to have to have for somebody. Um, for example, I'm looking for a certain something for my husband, um, but other than that, um, I'm really just keeping my eyes out for gift card deals. Target. Be mindful of Target. I do know that right now, December 4th currently is when they're set to do their 10% off their gift cards up to $300. So you can do that $300 per every online account that you have. Or you can try your hand in multiple transactions in the stores. Um, I do know that the online e-gift cards are not good to use until the next day. And I'm not sure how they do that for the gift cards purchased in store. I think they have to be wait to use the next day also. But once you have those 10% off your Target cards, you can still buy Disney gift cards in store with your Target gift cards. So that's going to be what I want to do. And remember also last year in early December, Target had, if you bought two Disney gift cards or and some other gift cards, you got a $5 Target card and then you could roll those $5 ones into one excuse me, I have a cold gift card and purchase another Disney gift card. So I did that last year and um, I look forward to hopefully being able to do that again this year. And remember if they do that, it's in your best interest to buy two of the lowest denomination versus the higher denomination because it's a greater percentage of savings. Like last year they had, you could have bought 250 or 2100, but it was better to buy 250 dollar gift cards. So let's talk about my savings this week, guys. We're getting so close to the end. Um, I have less than $300 to save, 230 something. It's in the description box below. Um, but so this week I got $20 from Receipt Hog. That took me a long time. That's not even their highest um, increment value, but I wasn't going to be able to get enough points to reach the next highest level. So I cashed out at 20 and I'm really excited about that. That has already hit my PayPal account. It did take a few days. It wasn't instant like some of the other ones are. I um, There was a Groupon deal for Starbucks gift cards and you know you can save those up in the app um, and use those at Starbucks in the park for drinks, snacks, or whatever. I'm saving them to purchase you are here mugs um, for really cheap souvenirs so um, it did not work on my Groupon account but it did work on my mother-in-law and my husband's so I was able to get $20 in gift cards for $10 and so I paid myself the additional $10 in savings I also had $13 in M perks this week and so I took that off my transaction out of my grocery money and I keep that for myself and then my big to do yay is I had a earned enough points finally and speedy rewards to get a $50 visa gift card 
And that was like 59,000 points because they charge you enough to cover that um, $5 activation fee also. But it's so cool how it works. You know, once you earn enough points, you just redeem them in the app and it gives you a little coupon and you just take that gift card up there and it scan your coupon on your card and ta-da, you have a free gift card. So that was really exciting. I had earlier this year cashed out for a $100 gift card that took me three years to earn. So um, I wasn't quite hip to how their um, point system worked and I was excited to earn another $50 this year. I could have maybe earned more, but they had a sweepstakes in um, March, I believe, or maybe April. And I used every single point I earned that month to go towards entry. I didn't win, but I know several other people who did are really happy about it and I'm happy for them because I'm already planning a trip to Disney. But anyhow, so that's $93 this week, guys. $93. And I came today from working another shift at my school, so soon I'll have um, two more of those shifts come in into my bank account. And I'll tell you about that when I get those. But really, that's all I have for you guys this week. I don't have any cool things to look for on Black Friday. Um, if you're looking for Hatchimals or things like that, I don't know where to find them. I haven't even heard my kids say that, so I must be really blessed. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to go back and check out last week's episode to enter the giveaway if you haven't already. Next Monday, after Thanksgiving, I will be announcing the winner of that giveaway. And um, until then, I'll I'll see you real soon.